guys, Shanny Fatties. Welcome to Educating Shanny. I'm Shanny. I'm so mad. <laughs> Hi, Shanny. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to live stream still, but I can't make you a video, so I'm going to. Yay! Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. I'm so mad. I got all ready. I put on makeup. I put on a shirt that would match my background. I got all ready for a nice spring live stream with you. Are you kidding me right now with this? You're going to need to stop doing that. I'm not even kidding. My gosh. This is not my day guys. It's nothing's working today. I could get my tripod, but again, why would I do that? So I'm guessing it'll be a few more days till I can live stream because apparently I'm still on punishment for, you know, posting pornographic videos to my channel. So it's a punishment that's well deserved. Anyway, so instead I asked you guys to hurry and leave me some questions. Since I can't do the, the live stream, I'm gonna do a quick Q&A for you. So, let's look at the questions that you've left. I haven't even looked because I literally just told you to leave them like five minutes ago and I haven't even looked. So, these aren't questions that I'm gonna like pick out ahead of time. This is gonna be like on the spot questioning and I'm gonna try and do it as fast as I can so that I can get as many questions in as I can. Okay, let's give that a shot. <laughs> Alyssa Banks left me four questions. Number one, how many family members do you have? Like a hundred, probably. Three blood siblings. I have two step siblings. I have one half sibling. I have some ex step siblings technically. Um, and then I've got my mom and my dad and my stepdad and my stepmom. She passed away though. Um, and then I've got like tons of nieces and nephews. So a million. <laughs> Number two, how many kids do you want? I want as many as the good Lord will give me because right now it's coming down to that. It used to be growing up like, oh, I want three kids and I'm gonna do it. And then things happened and I destroyed my body and it's very unlikely that I'll be able to get pregnant but there still is a chance. In fact, there's a chance that I think I might be pregnant right this second, but we won't know again for another week probably. So I will keep you posted. If it happens, then I'm gonna be like, all right, God, I will do whatever you want me to do to make this baby safe and healthy and happy and teach it and raise it. Number three, how many grandkids do you want? Well, it depends on how many kids I have, but in my mind, I would want like 30 or 40 grandkids for sure, but that's not gonna happen, but that would be really cool. <laughs> Number four, what is your favorite animal? I have so many, that's not true. I don't like a lot of animals. I love animals. Okay, this is a weird question because favorite pets and favorite animals are different. If I were to say favorite pets, it would definitely be a cat or a bird, um, and I have a bird. I don't have a cat because I'm allergic, but I still love cats. I'm a cat person, don't hate me. I'm not a dog person, I'm sorry. But if it's not a pet, I've always really loved tigers, and then I love like pretty things, like butterflies and peacocks and owls and things. Next, music is a rainbow. Go subscribe to her if you haven't already. Says, what hair products do you use? Shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I use Pantene. No, I don't. Wait, what do I use? I don't know. I only wash my hair every three weeks, so I can never remember what I use. I just use whatever's in the shower. But something that's really important that people ask me, like, how can you get away with not washing your hair for so long? Like right now, it's been over three weeks, actually. I'm due for a wash. It's been over three weeks and people are always like, how do you do that? How do you do that? One of the ways I do it, obviously I had to work up to the three week mark thing. But the other thing is that when you condition your hair, do not condition the roots. 
that will just make extra oil that's not needed. Your roots already have natural oils in them. Do not condition your roots, trust me. So I typically only condition from about here down and whatever it is for you, if your hair's this long, then maybe condition from here down. You know, like maybe right above the brow line, don't condition and then it, it stays drier and cleaner a lot longer. So anyway, so yeah, I just use, I think I use still Pantene Pro-V for shampoo and then I use Suave something that smells good for conditioner. And then I use hairspray. I do use a serum. When I do my hair curly like this, I do it, I use a serum and it's by Pantene Pro-V. It's just like Pantene Pro-V hair serum. I don't know, it smells delicious. Oh, Sarah, my girl Sarah from Sarah Ann Recovery. I made a video for her a couple videos ago before I had to take my break um, because her cousin, her best friend died. You guys know Sarah. If you're, not, if you're not subscribed to Sarah Ann Recovery, please go do it. She's becoming one of my best friends in the whole world and I love her so much. And she just got engaged. So her questions are, number one, what are you going to get me for my wedding? What am I gonna get you? I'm gonna get you d dishes. I don't know, what do you want for your wedding? Number two, will you sing me a song? Because I miss Jake so much and need cheered up. Aw, I thought you meant sing at your wedding. I love you to death, but I will not ever sing at your wedding, so don't plan on that. That's not gonna happen. I don't sing in front of actual people, just cameras. But I would love to sing you a song right now for Jakey. Please don't cry. We both know it's not what you, you need And I, I will always love you I, I will always love you You're welcome. <laughs> and then she also said, how are you so beautiful all the time? Cause I, thank you. <laughs> Aw, Donnie, Donnie Winter, go subscribe to him too. Donnie Winter says, Shani, I love you. I love you too. I'm so sorry that YouTube is being unreasonable. Thank you. You understand. <laughs> what has been your primary motivating force lately? Okay, so lately, I'm glad you asked this because I wanted to bring this up. So I'm glad that you asked. Lately, my YouTube has been number two in my mind as far as work goes because I'm speaking at a conference in next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday in Vegas in front of a lot of people. I'm speaking for 30 minutes and I am nervous out of my brain cells 
of how it's gonna go. I have a feeling that once the conference is over, I'll be able to get back like 100% focused on YouTube. But until then, I'm just gonna make whatever video I feel like doing every day. So I guess my motivation has been the conference and my body, like focusing on being healthy enough to stand for 30 minutes. So that's going fun, funly times this. I'll stand. I guess I could bring like a stool to sit on. Haha, <laughs> stool. <laughs> like poop. Next. This is a great question. This, was, this is from Dahlia Olive. Describe your favorite firework. That is such a good question. I do have a favorite actually. So it's the one that goes and then it goes up and then it goes and like tons of like sparkly glittery streamers fall down to the ground. That's my favorite. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Stephanie Selena says, uh, how are you feeling since Friday night happened? Have you taken new measures to ensure your safety? Sending you hugs and prayers. Thank you for asking that, Stephanie. Um, thank you. Uh, yes, I'm feeling a lot better. We've taken many safety measures, I don't know, measured, measures. And we've been working really hard to secure the home better. I have re-hidden the guns because stupidly I shared with the internet where we keep our guns. And so someone in the comments of that video yesterday was like, you should probably like relocate your guns now that you've told everybody in the world where you keep them. So we did that. Um, we have security cameras that are going up tomorrow. We have other things that I'm not gonna tell you about just in case. And yeah, so we'll be good. Ever since we figured all of this out and worked on what will work the best for us in our home, uh, things have felt a lot better for me. But I'm so cautious when I'm home alone, but luckily Danny's not out of town, which means that he'll be here at night. So that's nice, so. Kate McNanny says, McNanny? I don't know how to say that. How can I stop getting anxious when I eat? Just practice. Try and take your mind somewhere else. Um, Try and not think about it. Just kind of like think about it as fuel. And then if that's not working, maybe try and distract yourself in a different way. Maybe you can like watch a TV show while you eat or something and like give yourself the goal to be like, okay, I'm gonna watch this half an hour TV show, which is 23 minutes with, with commercials. So I'm gonna watch this show for 23 minutes and that's how long I have to eat what's in front of me and I'm going to do it by the end and just do it slowly and just try and pay attention to the show. And then by the end, you'll be done. And then you can be like, oh, I did it. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. That's the only one I can come up with on the spot, on the spot, but maybe I will make a whole video on that. So Aiden Mary says, what's something you tell yourself or do that helps the fastest when you feel crappy? By the way, uh, you're beautiful and amazing. Thank you, Hayden, you're beautiful and amazing too. Something that I do, actually the, <laughs> the main thing that I always do when I'm feeling crappy is to think of other people. So I think of the Shanny Fannies. I think, you know, they're, they're gonna want a video for tomorrow. They're gonna want me to live stream tonight on Instagram. They're gonna, you know, stuff like that. And that kind of keeps me like, okay, I've got something that I need to do that makes me feel good, that makes me feel happy. And then also focus on other people in your life. Is there anyone in your life that needs help with something? Is there any kind of service that you can come up with to do? You can go visit old people and sing for them. You can go and do something for a family member. You can make cookies and leave it on people's doorsteps with, you know, anonymously. Just do something to think of other people is what I do uh, when I'm, when when it works that's what works for me you know what i mean yeah okay okay miss swan 35 said first of all uh how are you feeling about being home alone after the incident with the open doors i already explained that and then also what did you mean when you said you can get pregnant now all right so oh, okay i'm gonna start sweating talking about this <laughs> 